At first, Betty decides to hang out with Alex to keep him safe. But, as they see each other more often, Betty starts to wonder if this curse is real. But, this is quickly forgotten when Alex trips and ends up falling down a staircase. Now, Betty blames herself. Because she doesn't want to walk away from Alex, Betty goes on a search for that childhood classmate who cursed her. Can she break the curse, or forever live alone? Or W are these disasters just random acts of recklessness? When is the premiere of Betty's Bad Luck and Love? When can rom-com fans see the premiere of Betty's Bad Luck and Love? That date is Saturday, January 20th, at 8 p.m. Eastern, on the Hallmark Channel. In addition, this new rom-com will be available on Peacock up to 72 hours after the premiere title, Breaking a Love Curse in Hallmark's Betty's Bad Luck and Love. Once upon a time, in the picturesque town of Harmony Haven, there lived a young woman named Betty. Despite her radiant smile and warm heart, Betty found herself trapped in a cycle of unfortunate love stories, earning her the dubious title of Harmony Haven's Love Cursed Maiden. Her romantic misadventures had become the talk of the town, and no eligible bachelor dared to step into her life, fearing the rumored curse that loomed over her heart. Harmony Haven, with its cobblestone streets and charming cottages, was known for its enchanting atmosphere, making it the ideal setting for love to blossom. Yet, Betty's streak of bad luck seemed to defy the town's romantic reputation. She had endured a series of comical mishaps, from accidentally spilling coffee on potential suitors to tripping over her own feet during first dates. The townsfolk watched in sympathy and curiosity, wondering if there was truly a curse that plagued poor Betty. One day, as Betty strolled through the town's bustling marketplace, she overheard a group of elderly women whispering about a legendary love curse that had been passed down through generations. According to local lore, the curse had been cast upon a distant ancestor, and its effects were said to manifest in the form of heartbreak and romantic misfortune for the cursed maiden. Determined to break free from the shackles of her ill-fated love life, Betty sought the guidance of Harmony Haven's resident matchmaker, the wise and eccentric Madame Eloise. With her crystal ball and mysterious potions, Madame Eloise was rumored to possess the ability to dispel curses and mend broken hearts. Betty nervously entered Madame Eloise's quaint cottage, filled with the scent of exotic herbs and the soft glow of mystical candles. Madame Eloise, with her piercing gaze and flowing robes, welcomed Betty and immediately sensed the heavy aura of the love curse that clung to her. The matchmaker motioned for Betty to sit, and the consultation began. Ah, my dear Betty, Madame Eloise intoned, the tales of your love curse have reached my ears. But fear not, for I sense a glimmer of hope within you. Breaking a curse requires courage, determination, and a sprinkle of magic. With a twirl of her fingers and the soft hum of an incantation, Madame Eloise revealed the origins of the curse that had haunted Betty's family for generations. It was a tale of unrequited love, betrayal, and a vow that bound the family to a fate of perpetual heartbreak. As Betty listened intently, she felt a surge of determination to rewrite her romantic destiny. Madame Eloise prescribed a series of unconventional remedies to break the curse, including a potion brewed from rare herbs found only in the hidden corners of Harmony Haven and a quest to uncover a long-lost family heirloom that held the key to unlocking the curse. Betty, fueled by newfound hope, embarked on her journey to break free from the chains of her romantic misfortune. The quest took Betty to the charming outskirts of Harmony Haven, where she encountered quirky characters and faced unexpected challenges. Along the way, she discovered the true meaning of love and forged unexpected alliances with unlikely companions. As she delved deeper into the mysteries surrounding her family's curse, Betty unearthed long-buried secrets and faced the ghosts of the past. As the days turned into weeks, Betty's journey became a source of inspiration for the townsfolk, who rallied behind her in support. The once-muted whispers of pity transformed into cheers of encouragement, and the town began to believe that true love could conquer even the most formidable curses. Betty's path led her to a hidden glade, where the elusive family heirloom was said to be concealed. With a sense of trepidation and excitement, she uncovered a dusty chest that held the key to her liberation. 
The heirloom, a locket passed down through generations, glowed with a radiant energy as Betty clasped it around her neck. It was a symbol of love and resilience, a talisman to break the curse that had plagued her family for so long. Returning to Madame Eloise's cottage, Betty presented the locket, and together they performed a ceremonial ritual to banish the love curse once and for all. As the incantations echoed through the room, a warm light enveloped Betty, lifting the heavy burden that had weighed on her heart for years. The curse was